Hi guys, it's Shayla again from Freckle Finance and today I'm going to do a video on Bitcoin. If you're new to this channel, make sure you click that subscribe button below. I upload videos to personal finance, financial independence, and lifestyle related videos. So I'm sure you can hear the noise. My son is doing tummy time right now and He's right there, so I am just able to watch over him, but he is happier when there is music and noise in it. So, Bitcoin. A lot of people have heard about it. I know that there are people out there being like, you need to invest in Bitcoin. If you do not know anything about investment, Bitcoin is not the place to start. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. There are as many of them. The one that's getting the most attention in the media is Bitcoin right now. The way we currently have money causes inflation and there's no way around it. Inflation is going to happen. With Bitcoin, but not necessarily all cryptocurrencies, they actually have an inverse, the reverse effect of inflation. And that's because there is a limited number of Bitcoins that you can mine. And I remember when I was looking into this and I was like, mining Bitcoin, that's hilarious, like mining gold. Uh, in fact, but the fact is that it's actually mined, it's mined online. And the thing that's good about Bitcoin and a lot of other cryptocurrencies, I can't speak for all of them, is that it's very hard to fake um, the money. It's very hard to steal the money from anybody else because they have they track computers or there's places where it's tracked and everyone who purchases a Bitcoin can see the processes from everyone else. And, and when you mine a Bitcoin, you know how the other ones are mined. It's very, it's pretty complicated, but basically there are certain numbers, a certain like language, so to speak, that prompts you finding a Bitcoin and computers have to go and Usually there's a ton of computers together that are working to find this code that there is to purchase the Bitcoin. I can definitely link to other sources that show kind of how mining Bitcoin actually works. Because there is a trace within every number that kind of says all the coins that were purchased beforehand, it's very hard to steal bitcoins from someone else because everyone else who has purchased bitcoins recently or sorry not purchased mined them is able to see the last transaction and you're able to go back and check ledgers you would have to have someone trying to steal the bitcoins having a stronger and faster computer than an entire network of people and that's why people really like bitcoin because it's harder to fraud um, reverse inflation, it has its problems too. There's, there's basically going to never be a system of transacting money that is perfect. Now, do we own Bitcoin? So I said in a recent budget video, the December budget video, that my husband uh, purchased off of Coinbase and he purchased Bitcoin. And you know, we, we spoke about it and I had to agree to allow him to purchase it, but we are not counting this as an investment. He has a sinking fund sort of category for larger spending items. And while this is sort of an investment, it's kind of more along the lines of gambling. Um, Bitcoin is not something that you go into to actually try to invest and actually try to make money. It is extremely, extremely volatile. My husband updates me quite frequently at the current price of his Bitcoins and it fluctuates so drastically on a daily basis. This is not something that you want to invest in for the long term. However, if you have extra money, there there is something to be said for having a bit of money, very tiny, that you invest that could potentially make a ton of money. As long as overall it's an extremely, extremely small portion of your entire portfolio. And that is the case for us. Um, you do need to have a diversified portfolio. So even if you want to invest in cryptocurrencies, you should have other, many other things. As you know, I prefer like well diversified ETFs um, that focus on more than one country as well as more than one industry and uh, capital size of the businesses that are in the ETFs. So yes, we purchased Bitcoin. My husband purchased it through a broker because it's basically extremely difficult to purchase or to mine it. Um, he, you know, we looked at it, it would, it could take a long time. We could never get it. People actually go into groups 
like massive groups of people get together and um, when a Bitcoin is mined, they split it between that whole group because it's it's hard to say who out of that group is going to be the one to find it because it's just a matter of like searching and searching and searching and searching and searching through numbers and it's nothing that you can do manually. Your computer has to run a program to do it. And it used to be, you know, at the beginning it was a lot easier to be able to mine on your own and now like the more that is mined, the harder it is to find um, the Bitcoin. Kind of actually like when you're mining natural resources in the first place, the more that gets used up, the harder it is to find it. But there is a finite number, a limited number of Bitcoins and the person who created it does have it. I will try to put it somewhere on this screen what the number is and what one Bitcoin is currently worth because it is currently worth a significant amount of money that it makes sense that you could still pull together and mine the Bitcoin. And that's basically a way of finding free currency at this point. Um, but it's extremely hard to do on your own. So you can still end up scammed by using a broker to purchase it and you do have to pay a broker fee in order to do this. Um, I let my husband deal with it himself. He's very good at this kind of stuff. And so he made sure that you know he got an authentic dealer to purchase the currency from. And so that's how he purchased his Bitcoin. So he did not mine the Bitcoin or anything exciting like that. That would have been cool to find free money that's now worth a lot more. And Bitcoin has gone up extremely drastically. But if there's one major, major rule aside from diversifying your portfolio is that you don't generally, this is why we're not, this is also why I'm not considering an investment. You do not buy an investment that is currently doing amazing. Everyone's like, oh, I made so much money off this. I can't remember the exact number. I'll put it in. I think it's increased by 16,000%, sorry, 1600%, 16,000 would be crazy. So the value of it has increased 1600%. So People who got in early, yes, they have made a lot of money. Same with everything. When you're going in with something that has no reputation and you don't know how it's gonna go, it's even more risky to be purchasing it. A lot of people have made a lot of money on Bitcoin, but something that is currently doing good usually doesn't continue to do amazing. Uh, something like this, could, it could drop 1600% if that's what it gained, you know, or even more. The price could drop, it could go to zero. When my husband purchased this, it was basically on the agreement that this is lost money, that this will probably end up going to zero unless he decides to sell if it ever goes really high. So let me know in the comments down below if anything was unclear about Bitcoin and if you're wanting me to discuss any other cryptocurrencies or um, any just any specific investing stuff. I haven't specifically discussed any specific investments recently. So let me know in the comments down below. And remember that no matter what your financial situation is, have a great day. Bye.